I love my animals. I built this incredible ranch for them, but I can't take all of them home. You know, I can't take a donkey to, in, to where I live, a horse, llamas, alpacas, sheep, goats, chickens, and, and dogs, and, and tortoises, and, and all these beautiful animals. Um, I was always curious, you know, I was curious. What do they do when I'm not there? I know they're cute, I know they're, uh, they're safe, but I want to know, what are they doing? How happy are you when I'm not there? So, let's watch it. Lorenzo is actually my first llama that I rescued. Uh, something about him, he's almost like Junior, the way he is. And a uh, bear just passed by the camera like a shark. He's learning manners. Lorenzo is definitely the grand chief. He's the dad of all of the alpacas and, and, and uh, llamas. He feels like a, like a giraffe, you know, when he walks. A giraffe looks a little bit like clumsy, but very, very powerful. If you ever meditated with a llama or alpaca, it's a really cool thing. It's really an uh, ancient feeling of uh, uh, spirituality. They're very calm when they lay down and how they wait. Almost, they go into like hypnosis. So when he looks at things and, uh, and he stays quiet and he moves his little front lip, he gets into a very beautiful zone, very beautiful calmness, quiet. You know, Lorenzo is like the perfect guy to meditate with. I know you can't see the expression, but I can feel his energy. Like I can totally feel his heart, his, the way he's breathing. Even, even if you can't see their faces, you can see the animals around, how they feel about how he feels. Lorenzo, I think he feels like he's, he's some kind of Peruvian king or something that he owns some part of Machu Picchu. Now let's watch Marty. Marty is a very special donkey. Honestly, the smartest donkey ever. I don't, I don't think I challenge him enough yet. There you go. There you go. That's my boy. <laughs> I can see his, his GoPro in his head. That's funny. <laughs> Look at him. Okay, this opens every gate, no matter what gate it is. This guy watches you, uses his little nose, and he's gone. <laughs> yeah, he loves, he loves life. This guy loves life. He was raised very nicely. He has a good nose. This guy, I think uh, if we, if we uh, teach him how to find like money or truffles or even drugs or anything like that, he will find them. Yeah, he's he's good. He has the power of. He always reminds me like a like a combination of a humongous Great Dane with a Rottweiler, because he's you know he's very powerful and the nose of a beagle. This is the guy in the pack that will tell him where the water is and the food is. This guy, this guy will keep the whole pack alive. Llamas, horses, anything, turtles, everything, anything they eat grass and everybody drinks water, this guy will find it. They're hard workers, they're super intelligent, um, you know, and, and when they tell you donkey in Mexico, it's like, oh, you, you, you don't learn fast. But now that I met Marty, it's like, yep, I'm Marty. <laughs> I learn fast. Now, if my animals were not fed, um, you know, in their, in their homes, this uh, running, they would take off and they would be running, running, running until they actually find it. But they know they just go outside just to explore. They're not, they're not really looking for food because we feed them well. Now we're going to see Nikita. She's a uh, black color and she's definitely the, the main jefa de jefas. She's like the boss of the goat, the other goat that we have and, and uh, the other sheep we have. She's definitely, they follow her, they feel very protected. And now, one thing about goats. They will eat everything. <laughs> they will eat everything. Be careful. They're good, great pets and everything. And but, yeah, they have this appetite, like, and the stomach. I, I don't know how I can digest things that are. How do you eat in that? I love the the feeling of they feel at home. They feel safe. You know, so they know they're going to places they they they've been there before. And nothing bad has happened to them. So I love that. They're incredible. When they climb and they get on two feet, it's just amazing. Like the, uh, the alpacas and the llamas can't do that. 
Now let's watch. Tina is definitely the most cautious of all. She's a great mom. She adopted, you know, Jaimito and Philly, the, the alpacas. But when it comes to have a presence around anything that is now Jaimito and Philly, she's very, 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 very shy. Very, very shy. When you live in an environment with a desert and you're gonna have two neighbors, you're gonna have rattlesnakes and you're gonna have coyotes. And the, this is their home. If you don't want any other animal to get uh, hurt by a rattlesnake or uh, coyotes, you need llamas. So this is your personal protection, anti-rattlesnakes and coyotes. And they are amazing. That's what their hooks are like, that way. And they're not afraid to use them. She's so cute. She, if her kids, you know, her adopted kids run away from her, she just chases them. Like, see, see, this is, you can see now, you know, when she gets out, is she's a little frantic about it, and her energy is uh, always worried. Like uh, those moms that are always worried about everything, but nothing bad is happening. But when it comes to like relating, it takes a long time for her to. Uh, to get to close the gap and that's why we needed um, something to give her you know for her to feel so what's my purpose in this farm you know they don't see it as oh this person adopt me and therefore I'm gonna be good to this person now uh, we gave we did everything we did food we did walking with her we did everything but her mother instincts were so strong so through Jaimito and Philly we actually got close to her so we have to find her two kids for her to feel her sense of purpose and from that point on she just became alive you know she became alive guys I hope you enjoy some of the GoPro footage we did for you this is some of the herd members I all, all the way from the way they step from the way they breathe from the way they feel I really enjoy myself I, this to me is a magical place you know the animals are magical and it was for me uh, super exciting to see my animals feeling safe feeling love, exploring, being with each other as a family. So I hope you enjoyed it and saw exactly what I wanted you to see.